Konami needs to stop this deck now. Literally, guys, if this deck survives in Master Rule, it's it's gonna become a problem and actually very scared. And this deck will become the best deck if it does not get destroyed on the upcoming ban list. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Today is Christmas Eve. For those of you who are celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas Eve to all of you guys. I am very thankful for each and every single one of you guys who watch the videos. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Hey guys, before I get started this video, if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you guys get the Christmas exclusive playmat today in the link in the description box below. And be sure to use the coupon code TXX10 for 10% off your entire order. All right, back to the video. All right guys, welcome back to YG Pro. This deck needs to be stopped. Public service announcement for Konami. The deck is more than likely gonna get destroyed on the ban list, 100 million gazillion percent. I have no doubt that Konami would not hit this deck, but if this deck does not get touched, I'm telling you guys right now, this deck would be a huge problem post Master Rule uh, Revision 2020. So without further ado, let's see how broken this deck is. This deck is actually very, very scary if uh, the deck doesn't get touched on the ban list. So without further ado, we're gonna go first. Let's begin. So we're gonna go first. The deck that I kind of want to showcase today is obviously Thunder Dragon. So basically with YGO Pro, you have to insert this card called the Master Rules April 1st 2020 Revision. Okay. And basically what this does is that you take this card out of your deck. You have to show it to your opponent. And if your opponent, and your opponent has to accept that you're playing the new Master Rule. If uh, they don't accept, you basically lose the duel. <laughs> so hopefully this guy accepts. Please accept. Uh, do you agree to apply the rules of this duel mode? Yes, I do agree. But hopefully my opponent also agrees as well. So does he agree? Okay, he also agrees. Okay, last time I tried to do this on YGO Pro, my opponent just quit and disagreed. So that means I just automatically just lose the duel. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin. So my hand is uh, Matrix, Instant Fusion, Solar, Dostrudo, and Hawk. This is probably the most broken hand I've ever seen when it comes to Thunder Dragons, especially post master rule 2020 revision so without further let's begin so it's normal summon solar activate solar's effect okay any response any response to the solar no response to the solar we're gonna send roar to the graveyard so we send roar to the graveyard and now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna activate thunder dragon hawk listen you guys will see how disgusting the end board will be with this hand that i have right now we're gonna trigger off solar's effect to special summon a token the token is obviously really important since the new master rule applies we no longer need to link summon before using our extra deck. So now we can spam triple Colossus right now without having to worry about ever link summoning. And in this, and with this hand right here, I'm gonna showcase you guys that you don't need to link summon at all. And that's how powerful Thunder Dragons will become in the 2020 format if this deck does not get hit. Okay, so make our first Colossus. Okay, Roar is sent to the graveyard. We're gonna activate Roar's effect. Roar is gonna special summon dark directly from the deck. Uh, really, really good. And now we're gonna make the second dark. Okay, uh, into the second Colossus. So make the second dark into the second Colossus. Really good. Activate Dark's effect. At this point, we can either search the fusion or we can search duel directly from our deck to our hand. So at this point, I'm just gonna add Thunder Dragon Duel directly from our deck to our hand, which is really good. So that way that can actually make a rank eight XCs to just protect my board even further, which is really cool. So now I have a face up solar that's on the field. What I can do is I can just make solar. I can turn solar into the third Colossus. Like I'll just turn Solar into the third Colossus and like Solar and Hawk already, he's already three Colossus, which is insane. So um, so you already have three Colossus right here. Some decks can't even beat this right now. If you're playing against Cyber Dragons, Cyber Dragons will become useless uh, 2020 because there will never be a monster in the extra monster zone again. So you don't actually have to worry about Colossus ever leaving uh, the main monster zone into, to go into the extra monster zone, right? So now what we can do is that we can actually activate Instant Fusion. Really, really cool. Activate Instant Fusion. We can special summon the Kaminari attack, uh, which is really good. You can summon the Titan by banishing Kaminari and also the uh, the Matrix in hand to make the, the, the Titan, which is really awesome. Okay, cool. Activate Matrix effect. We're going to search the other Matrix directly from our deck to our hand. Now what we can do with that token is that we can actually activate the Strudel. So we activate the Strudel, target the token. The Strudel becomes level 6 and the token is level 1. Uh, if you don't play the Strudel, you can easily turn this into Link Karibo if you guys really want to. Well, F.A. Dawn Dragster is obviously way better in this scenario. We can make F.A. Dawn Dragster right here. And then with the duel in hand, this card is a free rank 8 on the field. So and we can banish the Dark, uh, you know, the Dark from our Graveyard. Special summon, of course, the, the duel. This is obviously the God Hand right here. And then with this right now, we can easily make Titanic Galaxy right here. Like, look at this. Look at this board. Look at look what you're able to do with this deck without ever 
having to use your extra deck. Isn't this a little bit insane? Isn't this a little bit insane? Let me know in the comment section below. Konami, please stop this deck now. Stop this deck right now while you guys still can, Konami. Please. Hopefully this deck gets annihilated. Like, not even destroyed. Annihilated. 100,000%. Colossus is going to go to 1. Colossus, without a doubt, is going to go to 1. There's no reason for this card not to go to 1, 100%. Like, if you're going to be playing Thunder Dragons in 2020, uh, if Konami was going to hit a card, hit Thunder Dragons in 2020, it's either hitting the Colossus to 1, which they're going to do, and also probably hit the Hawk too, uh, in my personal opinion. So... The Dark Worm, that's completely fine. Uh, that's cool in this scale. Let's see what he does. And also at the same time, if he ever tries to attempt uh, to, what is it called? To make Electrum. I, can, uh, I also have Matrix in hand to also pop the Electrum, uh, which is really good. So I'm going to see what this guy's up to right now. So right now he can't add any cards directly from his deck to my hand. Anything he tries to do to my Colossus, I have a redirect attack with that Galaxy. So he's just going to Pendulum Summon. Pendulum Summon 2 from his hand. So all the other three cards in his hand. So the three cards that he has in hand must be a search card. It must be a search card. It must be a search card, 100%. That's completely defined by me. He summons the Time Gazer directly from the deck. What else does he, does he have in store? He hasn't normal summon yet. He used Dark Worm's effect and Pen Summon. Obviously, yes, I'm going to chain Matrix for sure. I'm going to chain Matrix. Target the one Colossus. Uh, he has nothing in response to the Matrix. I'll chain Thunder Dragon Titan. Yes, doesn't target, so I'm gonna pop the Electrum. See ya. What what can he send to the extra deck? What can he send at this point? He already uses Pendulum Summon. I have no idea what the other three cards that he has in his hand are. What can he possibly do with this? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, guys. Guys, please destroy this deck. Konami, please. Destroy this deck, I beg you. Let's 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 enter battle phase, and that's pretty much it, man. Like in post master rule five, pendulums are still gonna be the same. So uh, the deck didn't get any nerf or the deck didn't get any buff. It's still gonna be the same. You basically can't splash summon hex summon a monster anymore from the extra deck that you were able to do so before link summoning with pendulums. And obviously, the reason why links was created in the first place so that pendulums can just be nerfed right like let's be real here like pendulums was just a really broken game mechanic and they definitely needed to make links uh, to just slow down pendulums a little bit but now since the master rule revision 2020 is going to be in effect on april 1st uh, you're going to be able to create a board like this you're going to be able to create a board like this i have no idea what the other three cards are in his hand he potentially can break i, I don't know maybe these cards are search cards but you guys get the point konami needs to stop this deck now do you need to do something with this deck now? And without a doubt, this deck will surely get destroyed on the ban list. If it doesn't get hit on the ban list right now, the deck will get destroyed from the July 2020 ban list for sure. Uh, the next ban list after the January ban list is going to be a Noah's Ark. They're going to refresh the games in so many ways. The ban list is going to be absolutely crazy. So, yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are about Thunder Dragons. Post Master Rule Revision 2020 in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash thumbs up button. I'm not making this video just to showcase you guys. Yeah, you know, this is the deck for you guys to play. I want to create awareness as much as I possibly can so this deck can get destroyed on the balance because if this deck does not get touched, I would not, like, I wouldn't enjoy playing Yu Gi Oh! Uh, when it comes to April 1st, 2020. So. 100% Konami is going to do something with this deck. So let me know your thoughts are in the comments below about Thunder Dragons in, in general. Do you guys think that any other decks are going to be able to do something of this caliber for the 2020 Master Rule? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have any decks that you guys want me to showcase post Master Rule, please leave in the comment section below as well. I love to showcase you guys the decks that you guys want to see in action. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next when it comes to the Master Rule. I'd love to make a video on it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow is Christmas. So, happy holidays for those of you who are celebrating Christmas. And make sure you guys get your IP play mat today in the link in the description box below. Today is the second last day for you guys to get this mat. Get it when you guys so can. Very exclusive item. So, make sure you guys get it today in the link down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy Sam from TSN Sam signing out. Alright guys. Peace. Let's go, let's go.